cheap versus expensive traction boards. What one do you guys think are gonna last longer? Let's hop in this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to use these. We're gonna test them out, see what ones break first and see if the expensive ones are worth your money. Take a look here at these cheap ones. These are Expos I got off Amazon. These cost about $80 and there's nothing special about these. Just a plastic thing, very stiff. I don't think these are gonna hold up very well. Let's take a look at the expensive ones. Looking here at the expensive ones, these have a couple cool features. One, they're bigger than the cheap ones. And you see here, they got this metal thing right here. This is gonna grip on your tires better. I'm gonna show you how to use these, but this is gonna grip on the tires better. And then you got these little nubs here. These are actually replaceable as well. So they gave me a black set and a red set in there. So if these rip off when you're using them, you can replace them very easily. And then there's some on the back side here. You can't replace these, but these are gonna dig in the ground. And taking a look at this metal piece right here, you can see it's like serrated and sharp, like shark teeth almost. You can use this then as a digging tool like that and dig yourself out of any trouble. If you got yourself buried pretty good there, you can use these as a shovel as well. So also taking a look here, you can see these are flexible. It's not as stiff. So these are gonna give away but not snap like I think those are gonna do when we do the testing. So guys, we're gonna head down this trail a little bit farther, see what kind of mud pits I can find, get the back of the truck in some mud. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use traction boards. And then we're gonna see if this one's gonna break or if this one's gonna break. It's gonna be a cool video. Let's hop into this. So guys, I know this isn't the biggest puddle. I was having trouble finding a good example of where I could test this out, but I think this will do pretty good for the example I'm trying to show you. Mainly I'm testing to see if they're gonna break when I drive on them. So let's hop into that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cheap ones first or expensive? What do you think, Ash? Expensive so it doesn't shred. <laughs> we'll do the expensive ones first. So let's say you're stuck. You're a four-wheel drive already. This is some nasty mud you're in, okay? You're stuck. If you're like me, you don't have a diff locker. This truck does not have a diff locker. We come back here and see this wheel back here is free spinning. Nothing's happening. And when you have an open diff, this one would be spinning. And the other one over there would not be doing anything because if this one's spinning, that one's not. So if you've got yourself really dug in there, you can use this shovel piece, right? Dig yourself out a little bit. Then you would take this and put it under here like that okay right under the back tire in the event that when this wheel is free spinning it will catch on those metal things and pull itself out so i'm going to show you driving up on this like i said this isn't the most intense test i wanted to find a bigger mud pit but this will do for now as you guys can see didn't crack at all but in a real world situation that tire would be sprinting pretty aggressively and it would bite way harder on this metal but it's metal i don't think it would ever break on you but it's cool because from what i can tell these guys here you can replace them now i didn't mention what brand this was but this is bunker in dust bunker in dust in dust in dust something like that they sent these out and that's why i'm doing this test these are pretty solid no cracks no nothing now let's try the cheap ones. Oh no guys, look, we have gotten stuck again. Let's see if the cheap ones will get us unstuck. We're not actually stuck. So this one does not have any shovel. I mentioned that already. It is just plastic. So if you see here, once these nubs get gone from your tire spinning and catching on that, these are gonna just basically be throwaway. Not to mention, way stiffer. So these might just snap as soon as my truck gets on them. We'll see. Really, I carry these on my truck as an emergency. I don't expect them to last longer than one. Um, you know, I don't really expect to get stuck either in my truck, usually. Just an emergency thing. But let's drive up over this and get unstuck. Let's 
Let's take a look and see if there's any damage here. Except them being muddy. I don't see any cracks. But that was a very easy use of them. There actually is a crack, I think. There might be a crack right there. I'll show you guys a little bit closer, but it did. looks like it did crack. But probably good for another use, I would say. Maybe we need to hit these with another test. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Should we test these out one more time? I'm going to do it anyways, but let's hop into another test. The next test here, guys, is not going to be really recommended, but I'm stress testing this stuff. This is called a little bit of a bridge test. Yeah, ideally, you would have a bigger gap that you actually need to cross in an emergency to get to wherever, a gas station, what have you. In this event, we got a small little crevice here. I'm going to drive the truck across, see what snaps. Well guys, these are holding up very well for it being $80 off Amazon, but we can take a look here and see these little stress cracks where the plastic's bent. Kind of see that in there. I'll get you a little bit closer. You can see it really good in the, here in the back. So you see how it was stretched and now it's structurally probably damaged a little bit because it's stretched like that. But the nubs are still there on the in or outside, I guess. Then here on the inside, nubs are still looking good. Holding up way better than I expected. Let me set up the expensive tracks and see how they do. So taking a look here at the expensive ones here, I see no indication that this plastic was damaged. There's no white spots in this plastic showing that it stretched like that blue there. And that's because they're made to bend and not break. So very impressed still with the expensive ones. Obviously nothing happened to the solid metal parts up there or down there. Underneath where it was uh, pressed into the ground by the weight of the truck, the nubs there are looking great as well. I'm trying to think of other ways I can test these out in my area. Pennsylvania is nothing too crazy that I can test them out. I'm going to drive around a little bit more, maybe see if I can find another test, guys. Might be wrapping this video up though. To wrap this video up, I'm going to give you my honest opinion here. So, I do believe if you're going to buy a set of these and use them, get the more expensive set. I wouldn't go full name brand and get the Max Tracks. They're going to come in around $350. These bunker in-dust boards right here are only $200, and they actually have more features than the Max Tracks with this metal right here that you can replace and these replaceable nubs right here. So, all in all, I think these are going to last a lot longer, and you're going to get a lot more out of your investment. As we saw with these cheap Expo ones that are $80, the plastic is already starting to show wear and tear from where we use them today. So I would imagine one to two uses of real world use where you actually need to get unstuck with these, they're gonna break and be completely useless and you have to throw them away. I actually expected them to break immediately, but surprisingly they did not. But you can see here, you might be able to see with the camera, but these spots right here, you can see where the plastic was bent. You don't get that at all on this board here, you would see white where it was bending. And that's because this is too rigid to be used like this. Rather, this is very bendy, as I showed you before. So my honest opinion is go out, buy this set. You'll never probably have to buy another set. You probably use these for two, three years, heavy use, be able to stabilize your vehicle. If you are off level a little bit, stick them under there and you don't have to worry about them snapping. Honestly, very happy they sent these out to me because I can upgrade from this cheap garbage and be able to have something I'm gonna be able to use and feel more comfortable with. 10 out of 10, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It means a ton to me. We're on a road to 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there, pretty close actually. Do me a big favor, check this video out right here. It's all right, it's not the best, but it's pretty good. I'll see you in the next one.